Hi guys, so look at this question here. This question C question C is that there are four sections A, B, C and D in a school. If the pass percentage of sections A, B and C is 50%, that of sections A, B and D is 55% and that of A, C and D is 60% and that of, that of B, C and D is 65% then which of the following can be the pass percentage of sections A, B, C and D combined together. Okay. So now this question here. So look at this question guys. This question says that there are four sections A, B, C and D in a school. So now if I say let, let the total numbers, number of students be. So in school A, let there be A students in school B, B in school C, small c and a small d. Okay. These are the number of students in each school. So what I can do in this question here is I can see that the total number of students passing through three sections A, B and C should be how much that I can write here is. So the first equation I can make is the total number of students passing through A, B and C. So total number of students passing through A, B and C should be equal to how much? So if I write passing through A, B and C should be equal to 55%. That is like, so I can write here, that is, uh, sorry, 50%, right? So I can write here, 50% is 0.5. So A plus B plus C into 0.5. This is my first equation here. Similarly, my second equation will be total number of students passing through uh, A, B and D. So if I write A, B and D here, it's 55%. That is A plus B plus D into 0.55. Okay, this is my equation 2 here. This is 0.55 and my equation 2. Similarly, similarly total number of students passing through uh, A, C and D. So A, C and D is 60%. Okay, that is A plus C plus D into 0.6 I can write here. This is my equation 3. And similarly, one more equation here, guys. So basically, it is written here that uh, passing through B, C and D. So B, C and D is equal to 65%. That is 0.6. Okay, that is 0.6 here. So B plus C plus D into sorry 65 is 0 0.65 0 0.65 here it is point that is equation number four here so i'll try to relate all these equations so, so what i should do here here is you can just mark uh you can just add all the equations so if i add all the equations i'll get so every number will come three times right a will come three times b will come three times c will come three times and d will get three times so i can write the equations that after adding all of them so if i uh, add all of them so 3 into total number of students passing through A plus B plus C plus D is equal to what? Is equal to, just add them guys. I'll get here, uh, this is 0.5. So this, this should be, if I add A here, so A is 0 0.5, 0 0.55, 0 0.6. So A is 1.65A. Okay. Similarly, if I add B here, so B will be... Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.55 and so basically what I'll do, oh, yes, so we will be, uh, what I'll try to do guys, I'll try to take 1.65 common because, uh, because all 0 0.55 is greater than 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is greater than 0.55 and 0 0.65 is greater than 0 0.5, obviously 0 0.6, right? That means what I can do, I can just, I can just take this 1.65 in every, every number, right? So 1.65a plus 1.65b plus 1.65c and plus 1.65d. If I observe what is left here guys, so if I observe what is left here, so now for b, like for example b, we have 0.5 plus 0.55 is 1.05 and then plus 1.65 is 1.7b. So b will come as 1.7b after adding, I written 1.65b here. So that means I'll put 0.5b in extra, sorry, 0.05b in extra, correct. So I'll put 0.05b in extra here. Okay, let me write this here guys. So I'll get, I'll write 0.05b in extra. Plus, similarly for C, if I see for C guys, the so C will be like uh, 0.6 plus 0.65, C is 1.25 and plus C here is uh, 0.5, it is 1.75. 
So C is coming as 1.75 C. I have taken 1.65 C already. So I'll put 0.1 C outside. Okay, and this is I'll take a single term. Okay. Similarly for D, guys. So if I if I observe for D also, so D will be uh, D is 0 0.55, 0 0.6, and 0.65. So if I add D is 1.8 D. That means D I'm left with 1.15 D. And that's a good approach, right? So now if I observe this, so what I'm left here is 1.65 A plus B plus C plus D. Okay. And plus I'm left with 0 0.05 B plus 0 0.1 C plus 0 0.15 D. Now, so the use of this is now basically, now I what I want here, I want total number of students. So what is the total number of students guys? You see, observe now. So just let me rub this part in. Let me write on a single screen, right? So I think you have all, all have got this part now. So this part has got no use, okay? So let let me rub all this. And if you if you see here, so now if I if I use that percentage formula, because what I need in this case is the total number of students passing from sections A, B, C, and D. So we have got the if, if I want to calculate total number of students passing through sections A, B, C and D. Okay. So look at this is my next equation here. Observe this guys. So now if I, if I look at this part now, so I can write here total number of students. I should divide by three because it is three into right. It is three into something. So I can write total number of students passing from sections A, B, C and D will be equal to what will be equal to all this divided by three. If you divide this by three, uh, you will get 1.65 uh, into a plus b plus c plus d plus 0 0.05 b plus 0 0.1 c plus 0 0.15 d. Correct. So now you divide this by three here. So that means this you can cancel here. This this will get cancelled by three. It's a plus sign here. So what I can write here is this will get this will get cancelled to I think 0 0.55. Yes. Okay, so now my equation will be uh, 0 0.55 A plus B plus C plus D plus 0 0.05 B plus 0 0.1 C plus 0 0.15 D divided by 3. Correct. So once you once you get this here, so you can easily easily you can see this now that now if I want to calculate tot, uh, total number of students now if I want to calculate total pass percentage, that's what I want, right? Total pass percentage. So pass percentage will be equal to what? So pass percentage will be equal to 55 because I will, obviously, right? Don't know what, what I'll do actually. I'll all divide by 100, all multiply by 100, right? Because the pass percentage will be total. This is total number of students. Okay. Now divided by, divided by, Obviously that A plus B plus C plus D that is the number of students here. Okay. So let me just write here. This is the number of students. Okay. Number of students. Yes. So now I can just what I can write here is I want this pass percentage. So for getting pass percentage here, this is this equation says that about about total number of students uh, passing from sections A, B, C and D. Okay. So now total pass percentage will be this whole this whole right this whole let let me call this whole value let me call this whole value as r okay so i can write here r by total that is a plus b plus c plus d into 100 right now if i want to calculate here you can, you'll observe here that because this is a total number of students right so if i multiply this equation by 100 what i'll be getting I'll be getting now A plus B plus C plus D and this will get cancelled here, right? So now I can get here 55 plus if I all multiply this by 100, so 0 0.05 B will become 5 B. This will become a 10 C. This will become a 15 D. Now divide by what? Thrice of A plus B plus C plus D. This, this one will come here, right? Thrice of A plus B plus C plus D. So what I can observe here is that a minimum value is 55 okay so it is always 55 plus something so the minimum value is 55 
if minimum value is 55 so if i look at his options only option a satisfies right only one option is more than 55 that's how it solves this question right so it's a very good question very nice question good concept also okay just learn this concept okay yeah thank you